Okay, well I thought I would just uh, show some of you part of my design process. And uh, yeah, I was going to take a break from stuff, but I got bored after about half a day. So I decided I would uh, revise my Xbox uh, portable. I've done uh, quite a few of these, so um, this particular model I've built five identical ones. Um, four of them for THQ and one of them for another customer. So I thought, hey, I'm pretty intimate or I have knowledge of this design so um, I know where its strengths and weaknesses lie. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at it in render view. And of course again I'm using Adobe CS3, uh, Illustrator CS3. And uh, I'm kind of looking at this and I'm thinking, um, you know, this is a, a separate piece. These are all separate little plates and it might be easier to make a double side of kind of like the Commodore 64 was. And as you can see I've got the, at one point I was going to have uh, uh, component video jacks in the back, but I certainly don't want that. The other thing I want to ditch is the camera. I uh, just, I don't know. It's added expense, and it's one more thing I have to buy, and who cares. But having the, you know, this is a good feature here, the um, memory card slots on the side, and the speakers are pretty decent. Uh, having the buttons, such as the ring of light and eject and sync, on the first surface here, instead of on the side here, it's a lot easier to route. Uh, yeah, so probably the first thing we're going to do is maybe expand the ship a little bit wider. The hard drive sometimes would almost intersect with the with the fans for the um, cooling system, so I'm going to give it a little bit more space this way. Um, right now it's about 17 inches wide, and I'll probably go about 17 and a quarter. Um, the more room and space you give yourself, the easier it is to do things, so I'm going to try that.